Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today at the IOP Publishing Solutions Showcase, where we'll be talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion, also known as DEI. My name is Jessica Frigione, and I'm an account executive here at IOP Publishing. So the question to ask first is quite simply, is there a problem with diversity in academia? I'm going to take it as read that the audience understands there are DEI issues within the academic system and not spend all of my time convincing you of this fact. We know there are issues of disproportionate attrition from primary education all the way through professor status for women and people that identify as gender nonconforming as well as people from various ethnic backgrounds and also people with disabilities. So the answer to the question is an obvious yes, there is a problem with diversity in academia and IOP publishing is committed to help alleviate the problem as best we can. What is worth saying is that publishers need to take responsibility as influential, influential members of the academic community. It's too easy to say we're powerless to change anything. The inequalities within academia are not only reflected in our products, but we need to face the fact that we might be making some of these issues worse. We need to remember the active role our products play in academic systems, that our publications, either rightly or wrongly, are linked to career progression. If there's bias within the publishing system, then we're just adding to the problem. Our own work at IOP in this space really started with education. Uh, we wanted to educate ourselves before putting out any kind of performative statement that we then couldn't deliver on. In 2018, we began analyzing our own data and looking into the literature around bias and selection to identify where we might be able to make some positive changes. There are numerous studies which suggest peer review and publishing experience is influenced by demographic, be it gender, nationality, name, institution, et cetera. So we're perpetuating the problem by not fixing the biases within our products and services. Even if the demographics were to become more balanced within wider academia, we still need to take active, thoughtful steps in order to ensure our products don't reflect an, an old status quo. So what are we going to do about it? Well, our biggest initiative to date is that IOP Publishing recently announced we will be moving all our journals to double anonymous peer review as default to combat some of the biases, both unconscious and conscious, at play in the publication process. This was not a decision we took lightly, and it was informed by lots of data and research. This chart is taken from one of the studies we looked at, and this is from Taylor and Francis uh, from 2015, showing comfort levels with types of peer review. So you see authors, reviewers, and editors in different areas of publishing. We've been experimenting with double anonymous peer review for a number of years, offering it as a choice to authors on a handful of our journals. It's increasingly chosen as the most comfortable method of peer review, and the perception is certainly that it's the most fair method. I should explain that single anonymous is the norm for physics. And so this is a quite a big change for the community. We're seeing no impact on submissions or reviewer acceptance rates. And while it's too early to say it's making a difference to outcomes, we're receiving some very positive comments from both authors and reviewers. Response today, as mentioned, has been overwhelmingly positive. There was a lot of media coverage, both within physics publication, publications and the wider publishing industry. Lots of questions, but not many objections. So the vast majority of people are excited to see a publisher taking such an active stance on DEI and are wanting it to be successful in combating inequality. As publishers of research, IOP Publishing is joining forces with other publishers to set a new standard for inclusion and diversity in scholarly publishing. We are a founding member of the Publishing Equality Working Group, along with these other members. And this is something we're really proud of. We're also getting great comments from our authors and reviewers. 
Some authors are stating it's actually factored in their decision making when choosing where to submit. And we're seeing emerging evidence of reviews being rated as more useful under the double anonymous method. There's been no negative impact on submissions or reviewer involvement either. And you'll just see some comments from um, authors as well as reviewers about the double anonymous peer review. The move towards open access is often heralded as a great move for equity. And in many ways it is. It enables anyone to read research regardless of institutional support or financial status. However, it does erect a different barrier for mostly the same people elsewhere in the system. By moving the burden of cost to the author, we run the risk of creating an elite set of journals where only those who can afford can get published. And this is something that we don't want to do. So you'll see that um, we have 100% APC waivers on all our journals, uh, both gold and hybrid for authors from lower income countries. And this is really a great positive step. In terms of accessibility, at IOP Science, which is our um, content platform, making our online journals and books platform inclusive for all users has become a core principle in our development plan. Providing accessible online scientific content is not only a legal obligation for many of our customers, but a moral objective as well. And we strive to ensure that IOP Science is fulfilling both requirements. We design and build our platform to serve as wide a variety of users as possible, taking into consideration their unique qualities and levels of ability. For more information, please visit our website, www.iopscience.iop.org slash page slash accessibility. Thank you very much for in inviting me here to speak to you today. Um, I want to invite you to visit our website uh, that will talk more about open physics and inclusivity, www.ioppublishing.org slash open hyphen physics slash inclusivity. And my name is Jessica Fricione. Again, I could be reached at jessica.fricione at ioppublishing.org. Thank you very much.